What's going on, YouTube? So about three years ago, Toyota said that the Land Cruiser was gone from the US market forever, to many people's disappointment. But thankfully, they have changed their mind. This is the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser, and it is very different in a lot of ways from that previous 200 series model. So let's go ahead and take a detailed first look. One of the areas this new generation of Land Cruiser has seen the most radical departure is what's under the hood. As a matter of fact, we've actually lost half of the cylinders versus the previous V8, and we're going to a four-cylinder hybrid system. So this is not just any four-cylinder though. This is the iForce Max um, hybrid system. So this is combining a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine plus an electric motor, and total system output on board is going to be 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. That's going to be 55 less horsepower than the previous V8, but 64 pound-feet more of torque. So I don't think you're going to notice any type of power difficulties at all in this model. Additionally, I would anticipate you will be able to get better fuel economy, although we don't have any official estimates uh, quite yet because it's a very early model. You also have an 8-speed automatic transmission, full-time four-wheel drive system, and you have both a center locking differential and a rear locking differential. Obviously, the first place to start off with this first look is the exterior design. This, guys, I think looks really, really good. It throws in a lot of the heritage cues from all the previous generations of Land Cruiser, which are actually surrounding us here at the Heritage Museum. And as you can see, they really did a seamless job of making this look both modern and have those retro cues. You have that squared off look here in the front, the Heritage Toyota branding, nice meaty look to the design, including our headlights. So the uh, 1958 model, as well as the first edition, is going to come with a special circle headlight. This is the standard version or the just traditional Land Cruiser trim level. It's going to come with the square headlights, as you can see, LED projector style, very premium looking. And then we also have LED fog lamps down below. Now, as far as your off-road performance, of course, no Land Cruiser would be complete without that. So we have 8.7 inches of ground clearance. We have ample approach and departure angles. We also have real metal skid plates, and we have the availability of the rails on the side. Now, as far as your wheels, you're going to have a couple different choices on board. You have an 18-inch alloy wheel or an available 20-inch alloy wheel if you want to upgrade a little bit. These are going to be the 18 inch alloys as you can see and we have a kind of a matte black finish to these i think it looks pretty good especially with this blue paint job as we go up here to the mirrors nice gloss black finish to the mirrors um, it is going to be different than the finish of the roof which mason will talk about in just a second now that this is shrunk down to a mid-size suv you're probably curious as to how long it is it's 193.7 inches long which is 1.2 inches less than the previous Land Cruiser 200 series that we had before. So really not that big of a size difference overall. And I will say here at the side, it is very tall and very squared off. Now here at the roof, I do want to talk about this because we do have the Land Cruiser model and that is going to have the option of getting this two-tone roof. So as you can see, we have the really cool blue paint color with a white roof, a lot of black accenting going through here. I think this looks absolutely phenomenal here in person. We do also have black door handles as well. But come on back here and let's check out the rear design of this all new Land Cruiser. Once again, you're going to have a very squared off look. Um, and we do have quite a few cool design elements going on here that I'll break down. We have a spoiler upgrade up here at the top. We also have a rear window wiper, blacked out Toyota branding through here. I like that they spelled out Toyota. It gives that uh, signature Land Cruiser heritage. Also going to have full LED taillights here on the right side. Really like the way these taillights look. And then dropping down to the lower area, very beefy bumper area here. As you can see, it's just really thick and beefy. A 6,000 pound tow rating is what you're going to get on this all new Land Cruiser. And as far as your safety systems are concerned, you're going to have Safety Sense 3.0 as standard equipment on every single Land Cruiser model. But guys, that wraps up the cool exterior design. And if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. 
Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. Now let's go ahead and move on to the interior. So with this model, we're gonna see a little bit more luxury than you would in the 1958 example. And we'll go ahead and take a look inside the cabin. You can tell that really right from the start. So what you're gonna be seeing here on this model is a leatherette seat. That's what's gonna be included as standard on the Land Cruiser trim level. You can also option on real leather if you choose a premium trim level. Uh, tr premium package, excuse me. And then as you can see, it does have nice perforation, nice and comfortable, and it's gonna be finished in a brown color. As far as the seats, these are also gonna be power adjusting versus the 1958, which is manual adjusting. But let's go ahead and climb inside. Now we do have running boards on this example to make getting in nice and easy. And once we do, you're gonna be greeted with a very nice finished cabin. Of course, it's gonna be also meaty and rugged as well. So it kind of is walking that balance between luxury and ruggedness. Let's start, start out looking at the materials on the door trim. As you can see, brown leather through here. It is going to be soft touch right through the middle here, as well as along the top on this model. Going across the upper dash, again, all finished in a soft touch plastic. Through the center section is gonna be finished in a leatherette. Definitely a more premium vibe than the 1958. And then we also have more leather padding down here in the lower panels. Everything fits together very nicely, even though this is a pre-production model. Definitely keep that in mind. One of the places I want you to keep that in mind is right here at the gauge cluster. So this is a 12.3 inch gauge cluster. This is the premium gauge cluster. Um, and as you can see, it's not currently working properly. This is a pre-production model, but you could anticipate seeing the same kind of graphics as uh, in other Toyota products. Now, as we move back to the steering wheel, as you can see, we have a really nice looking steering wheel. Again, it's nice and meaty, just like the exterior design, Toyota Heritage branding right through there. It is going to be power adjusting as well on this upper trim level, and it is going to be heated. Now, let's take a look at storage. Opening up the console, nice amount of storage here, um, plenty of space to stick whatever you're gonna need. We also have two cup holders and a nice wireless phone charging pad up top. Now we're indoors, so we can't um, you know, run the vehicle, of course, but as you can see, nice meaty shifter on board, no electronic uh, shifters or anything like that. One of the nice things is that you do have the availability of a trail camera, um, which is an optional feature. And then back in this area with the shifters where you're gonna find all the controls for your uh, four-wheel drive system. So you have your locking rear diff, your locking center diff, uh, four-wheel drive system controls, as well as uh, your terrain select controller right there in a prominent location. As a matter of fact, it looks like when I press that button, it actually uh, it does pull up the 360 display so that you can kind of see what that's looking like as it spins around the entire vehicle. Now, up here we have our climate controls. As you can see, dual zone automatic climate setup. You can easily make your adjustments right through there. Versus the 1958, we uh, have the same heated seats, but we also add seat ventilation as well. Up here in our main display, um, we do have the 12.3 inch display. This is gonna be the larger premium display. The uh, 1958 comes with an eight inch display. Um, once again, uh, we're having some tech difficulties right now, so it is not actually showing the software, but it does have Toyota signature software, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay as well. Now next to that, we have our volume knob. So with this, um, you're gonna have three different audio systems you can choose from. The highest uh, audio system is going to be a JBL audio system. That's what we have equipped. Uh, we're on a severe time constraint, so we're not gonna be able to pair a phone and sample it out in today's video, but we look forward to having a full sample of this vehicle coming to the channel soon. Up top, we have uh, our auto dimming mirror with home link and reverse remotes. It is also the digital camera setup, so you can see at the back without any obstructions. And then up top, we have a traditional size sunroof. Now I'm gonna make this pretty quick here in the rear seats because we don't have official specs just yet. That will be coming out later, but as far as the leg room, I still have a very good amount. I'd say six to eight inches of leg room depending on how the seat is adjusted. Also, my feet can easily slide up underneath the seat. Here in the middle, we do have our own temperature adjustments. That is different from the 1958 model, which does not have that. We do also have rear vents as well. And then if we drop down here, we have uh, several connections to uh, USB-C outlets as well as a 12 volt outlet. I do not see heated rear seats on this Land Cruiser model. We have a fold down center armrest as well and our door trim is going to be more premium with some leatherette padding and we do still have that signature design with some bottle storage down in the very bottom. Now one of the really nice things about this all-new Land Cruiser is that we retain the rear popping glass independent from the front. Then if we go to 
open up the tailgate. We do have a power one for this Land Cruiser trim level. The 1958 has a manually adjusting one. Now, as far as the space is concerned back here, no official specs. Um, as I mentioned earlier, but the previous Land Cruiser 200 series was about 81 cubic feet of space. I'd say we'll have a similar figure here in this all new version, maybe just a little bit less. One thing I wanna point out though, no third row on any, any Land Cruiser model. Toyota did confirm that uh, just a few minutes ago that there will not be a third row, so keep that in mind. Now, as far as other things, we can lift this up. There's a little bit of storage under there. There's also some underfloor storage in this area as well. We have a standard 2400 watt outlet in the back as well. Now let's wrap up things with pricing and availability. So we don't have official pricing, but Toyota has given us actually an estimate of what the base model, the 1958, will cost. They say it's gonna start in the mid $50,000 range. So that's obviously a far cry from the previous $87,000 base price that the Series 200 in the U.S. used to cost. Now availability, they're expecting availability to begin in spring of 2024. But anyways guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this in-depth first look of the all-new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. It's because you subscribe and watch our channel that we're given the ability to come to special events like this and see this all-new model as soon as it comes out. So thanks so much for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, we'd really appreciate if you do. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.